Hi, today we're going to talk about how to use a laser cutter to make this acrylic token box for holding your custom game tokens. Hi, welcome to another making episode of Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And today's episode, we're going to talk about how to use the laser cutter to make this acrylic game token box. How to use Adobe Illustrator, which is basically a 2D drawing program, to create a drawing that will make a 3D object. And how to use readily available hardware to make an easy to assemble box. The first thing you need to do is get a set of these digital calipers so you can accurately measure dimensions of physical objects like this hardware that I've selected for my box. These are brass uh, bolts and I have acorn nuts that I'm going to use as both the bottom, uh, the nut on the bolt and the feet of the tray. I've picked brass because they're going to be visible so I want them to look nice. So let's talk about setting up your Illustrator workspace. You want to have the rulers visible so that you can read dimensions and the grid visible. And I also make a lot of use of the smart guides that show up automatically and uh, the guides that you can pull out onto the drawing surface. And I'll show you that in just a second. So I have basically three levels of this drawing. I have a lid, a base layer, and a body layer. So let's start from the bottom up. This is the base. All of my rectangles have rounded corners because I've learned from experience that's just better for the acrylic. And if you pick that shape and just click, then you can enter the dimensions. And this is the easiest way to get an accurately sized rectangle with rounded corners. And that's how I've really done all the rectangles in this drawing. My base layer has four holes in it that have been sized based on careful measurements that using the digital calipers and measuring the hardware that I've pre-selected. So now this is kind of how I lay these holes out. I pull guides off of the rollers. If you just hold down on the mouse and drag out, you can get a, in a guide. This doesn't show up in the drawing for cutting. It's just to help you lay things out. My approach now is I actually put my holes like this on a separate layer and I turn them on for all of my components. But in this drawing I actually had them on each layer. So this is the middle layer and you see it has three openings for the three pockets of the token tray. I'll be cutting four of these to make my tray. And then this is the lid. The holes are bigger because the holes fit over the bolt tops. And you'll see that when we put it together. So when I get to the laser cutter, I just say print. I uh, say I want two of these because I need four, but only two will fit on this piece of acrylic. I always check the corners to see that it fits on that particular piece of acrylic. We really like to use our acrylic as efficiently as possible. And then we tell it what type of material. This is cast acrylic and its depth a uh, quarter of an inch. And here it is cutting two of the four middle layers. And you can see that piece, I could have only fit two of my four on that. Acrylic is expensive, so you know we use it as efficiently as possible. And, and in fact, the center portions here we use, as you'll see, to cut tokens for the actually using in the token tray. So here's assembly. It couldn't really be easier. You've got a bottom that's made out of eighth inch acrylic, four center pieces that are quarter inch, and that's the lid, and it has the bigger holes, and you'll see how that works in a second. So basically, this is the easiest assembly possible. You just put the bolts through and uh, screw on the acorn nuts, and it's done. Couldn't be easier. This is actually double time. I don't really move this fast. But just tighten those down and it's ready to go. And then you can see the lid fits over the bolt tops. Here's some Star Wars X-Wing tokens in it. And here's an example of how we use that waste to cut a giant initiative token or four Netrunner turn tokens. 
And speaking of Netrunner, this is how a full set of our Netrunner tokens fit into the box. Looks really nice. And uh, our next step we'll show you in our next video is how to make a light box to put under this token box. And you can see the holes on the top are designed that the acorn feet sit right down in it and three lights shining up through the three compartments. Looks really nice. If you have enjoyed this video and you're interested in more laser cutter projects, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.